Hello, everybody. For this session, I'm going to play pieces from my first official CD, which is called uh, All the Keys and Then Some. Why all the keys? Because uh, the first 24 pieces on this CD, out of a total of 38, were in all the major and minor keys. Um, this is a form. It goes back to uh, J.S. Bach, who did it twice, Chopin. I uh, did my favorite version, and many lesser composers have done it. I like to say I'm the first guy to do a classical jazz, uh, New Orleans, R&B amalgamation. So we're going to begin at the beginning with a piece in D minor called Klezmer Nuthouse. Originally on the CD, it had a lot of overdubbing, uh, courtesy of the uh, Yamaha disc clavier. But uh, this is just a solo piano version I've worked up, and uh, I hope you like it. second piece in the suite now. Uh, this is in D major, and it's, uh, whereas this last piece was rather raucous, this one is a uh, sort of a lullaby called Sweetly Awakened in the key of D major.
Okay. I'm just going to leaf through the book. Continue with a, uh, this is a habanera, uh, which doesn't really fit with the title, which is a lost trio, because, you know, we have, Brazilian music doesn't necessarily have haban habaneras. Uh, although before they had their own music, they did use Cuban uh, Cuban music. Anyway, Lost Rio refers to the idea that Rio, uh, I think, was the most beautiful city in the world at one time, and then they they've torn down ninety percent of their colonial heritage, and uh, it's still fabulous, but not what it once was. So I'll dedicate this to. Uh, Harry Shear, uh, who has actually learned this piece, even though it's in the quite difficult key of G sharp minor, the only piece I've ever played in this key. So here we go. <laughs> Trio, uh, lurid, lurid minor mode tangos, just like I like them. So, I'm going to continue with a uh, piece in G major. Uh, this is called Dance of the Networkers, and it's dedicated to my late friend, David Schillander, who was a lovely guy and a very talented musician, played for many years with Bonnie Raitt and uh, Gate Not Brown and Air Supply and the Tonight Show Orchestra in a very unlikely career. And I really miss him. I could talk to him about anything musically. And I thought he was uh, the king of the networkers because he's always uh, kind of schmoozing. and. Uh, Anyway, so I dedicated this piece to him. 
and um, it ends a goofy left hand. So, but you would think the deep note would be the would be the downbeat, but in fact. It's, it's kind of a loppy sided piece. I hope you like it. Dance of the Network. Please. Shalander, dance of the networkers. So, I'd like to continue with a uh, one of the two homages I wrote for Dr. John Mac Revenac back in the day, and uh, this is one I got to play at a tribute to him at Kip Tina's in December. And it's just called Rebenak and trying to imitating one aspect of his uh, harmonic style. So, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. 
Yeah, a little bit of a sort of James Bookerish ending there. Revenacken, in the style of Mac Revenac. Oh yeah, I'd like to play a piece now called Ava. This was written, uh, written for a uh, a woman I fell in lust with in Denmark, shall we say? And um, uh, these are nice times. Here we go. This is a this is slow waltz. I got a page turn here, so wish me luck on that. next piece is called the omnivore and it also has a odd left hand um, basically it's a way of, uh, it's 12 12 8 figure <laughs> T 
two measures. That's 24 notes there, of filling up two minute way of um, a way to fill up two measures with a B flat. Better if I just play, I think, than trying to explain. So I'll mix it up with some uh, some stride piano and see what happens. Mm -hmm. The Omnivore. So I got one more from this set of all the keys. That was B flat minor, by the way. Avo is A flat. And um, Diddy, the last of the 24, is in A major. This is also a left hand exercise. I wanted to see how long I could keep this. He's, uh, eighth notes, but in groups of three go and um, so it has a, a, a more gentle lopsidedness than the other pieces. I, uh, I call this vaguely Caribbean and uh, I throw in a couple five four measures to even it out at the, at the beginning and uh, well you'll see what I do. Hope you like this ditty.
playing that. It's tuneful and it's challenging at the same time. So I'm going to play one more piece. It's not from the All the Keys suite. It's from the other suite I have on here called Some Friends of Mine. And this is uh, dedicated to, as it would appear, uh, just people who helped me musically or just been good friends. This one is a uh, called Martin's Mambo. It's not a mambo, it's just as the old Tresio bass and uh, but Martin's Mambo sounds better than Martin's Tresio, don't you think? So um, anyway, this piece has been recorded by the New Orleans Nightcrawlers and by the German pianist John Lulay and uh, maybe other people I don't know about. Uh, Josh Paxton's learned it, uh, for instance. Anyway, Martin's Mambo to end this set. Thanks a lot, and uh, here we go. ending. Thank you very much. All the keys and then some. Uh, thanks to Dave Torkenowski for his editing skills and thanks to Harry Shear for making this happen. See you next time. <laughs>